Wait, wait, let me turn the music down. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Turn on. What time is it? It is 12.39 in the afternoon on Thursday. Uh, excuse me. Thursday, week five for me. Week five for your boy. Oh, man. So what's going on with y'all, man? I did my radiation this morning. Normal thing. Man, I hate how black I'm getting, man. I am so black from that radiation. It just, man, look at that skin discoloration and peeling. And, you know, my skin is stretching and thinning and all the stuff they said it was going to do. Uh, so, man, I, I hate that. It just looked, man, it looked like I'm painted black from here down. I'm saying, even going like down here towards my chest, so I'm just a little black all the way around. Here's what it is. It ain't as dark on this side till you get under here, though, but y'all see it, right? Feel like I've been wearing sterling silver all my life and never cleaned it or something, or some three gold chains, some, some ropes or something. I never cleaned my neck or the chain. <laughs> anyway. Somebody commented to me, well, your teeth look extra white. I don't think they look extra white. They decent, you know what I'm saying? But that's that fluoride treatment and shit I have to do every day. Well, I'm hoping, you know what I'm saying, that, that that makes that difference and none of my damn teeth fall out and no shit like that, you know what I'm saying? That's the worst case scenario. I could be losing teeth, all that. God damn, let me get some of this white shit out of my mouth. Hold on, let me spit or something, shit. I'm sorry, y'all. Bit. And I'm going to sip a little water right here. All right, damn, maybe that's better. All right. So, yeah. All right, here we go. Update, though. Good, bad, ugly. My feet, both feet are swollen. They were swollen. Both feet were swollen yesterday. I could barely move. Uh, I took some gabapentin. I think that took, like, the, the pain because, it, it, you know, it works on the nerves. It took the pain away, but it didn't take the sweating away. So when I got up this morning, my feet felt different. They were feel, still swollen, but they felt different. I was able to stand up. You know, I had to grab something, pull myself up, you know, stand up. Still couldn't really walk, per se. You know what I'm saying? Because they still hurt once I'm on them. <laughs> but I was able to stand up, go to the bath, <laughs> bath on, stuff like that. But I'm still in this wheelchair today. I'm still getting pushed around, stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm still in the wheelchair. So, with that being said, I chose not to come home this weekend because I got steps, two steps just to get in my house. You know what I'm saying? Then from that point, I wouldn't even be able to go upstairs in my bedroom, nothing like that. So, I'm going to stay here this weekend. You got to shut out. Hopefully, my feet swelling go down, this and that. They saying with all this stuff I got going in me, this TPN and, you know, these nutrients and all this stuff, getting um, getting all the nutrients back in my body. So with all this, you know, it should un unswell or go down, whatever, over time. They don't want to give me too many different things. You know what I'm saying? Some people say, well, can't they give you this? Can't they give you that? Well, no, they can't because, once again, they got to watch my kidneys. I can't take anything that's diuretic or... or that filters through my kidneys. My kidneys are, are, are having a hard enough time with the uh, with the chemo that I'm taking, you know, filtering that. That's why I was on all these fluids and stuff like that to help my kidneys. My kidney levels are real low. They don't want my kidneys to go and be jacked up now. Now I need a kidney transfer and all this other stuff. So, nah, if this is what I got to go through, then it is what it is. I ain't tripping. I just stay here, be in the wheelchair, do what I got to do. It's boring as shit, but it is what it is, man. So, next day, next day, good, bad, ugly, like I said. And it's crazy because you get closer to the end. I'm almost done with the fifth. We got to get two more weeks to go. Uh, I've been telling y'all about my kidney levels and my hydration and I told y'all pretty much how I wasn't eating or drinking after the last chemo session for at least a, a week. I was struggling to hold food down, keep food down. So you know, I, that's why I'm doing fluids. I've been dehydrated and, you know, keep my kidneys flushed, try to keep that stuff going. Um, 
what else? I had blood in my urine yesterday. I went to take a pee. I, like I said, I couldn't even stand up, so I'm using one of those urinal things. And as I'm doing it, you know, you aim yourself in your cup, put it in the cup, you know what I'm saying? The urinal thing, you hold it in there. And, you know, you don't just let it flow because you don't want to overflow, so you kind of pinch it. So when I go to pinch, it felt like a burn. I'm like, oh, shit, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what being burnt felt like, but I felt the burn, you know, as I'm holding it and just not letting it flow out. So I'm like, what the fuck? So then when, I, when I'm thinking I'm done and I let it all the way go, and that it, the last of the little bit come out, and then it looked like it's just like a little bit of red coming out. So I'm like, the hell? So, of course, got to call the wife. Hey, hey, baby, check this out. <laughs> so those, she got to play her doctor. Baby, that look like blood. I said, it do look like blood. So as I'm wiping away, it's still red on the tip as I wipe. So I'm like, yeah, that's blood. So later on that night, we did it again. And yeah, I had blood in my urine. It was blood. That's why I was burning. So I'm like, oh, what the fuck? So had the appointment with the doctors this morning. You know, talked to them about it. Oh, we're going to run this test. We're going to run that test, blah, blah, blah. It could be once again because you were so dehydrated. You didn't have no food. You know, we trying to get these nutritions up in you with this CPN. So all this stuff is playing a factor into my body. No food, no fluids, being super dehydrated. You know, the chemo, all this stuff is playing this role. And as you get closer to the end, just like anything else, the closer you get to the finish, the harder this shit get. And that's that's by design. I don't give a care what nobody say. It's by design. The closer you get to the end, the harder it gets. They don't want you to finish. Not not saying they don't, but I'm just saying in general. Motherfucker don't want you to finish. Motherfucker want you to break. They want you to break. They want you to give up. They want you to feel down. All this shit. I ain't gonna lie. The day before yesterday, when I got up and my feet hurt and I couldn't walk, I was down. I'm like, what the fuck? Now I can't even walk. What is going on? Took me a minute. Gathered myself. Hey, if this part of the fight, it's part of the fight. Just keep fighting. It is what it is. So, man, blood in my urine last night. What the fuck? What is next? You know what I'm saying? But, once again, I tested for blood clots. I don't have blood, blood clots. I tested for, for uh, what you call that shit? When, when dudes had uh, rocks in their urine, whatever you call it. Uh, I can't think of what they call it. Uh, ah, shit, we got to pass rocks through your urine. Uh, and they say that's the worst pain ever to have. I, I'm good on that. Anyway, I got my kidneys got x-rayed or whatever, ultrasound. Like, I'm good on that. So everything been checking out good on me. I've always been a clean bill of health. So the doctor, you know, everything they're telling me is all because of the nutrition and the dehydration. Everything that's going on with me is because of nutrition, dehydration. They looked at my legs. My legs aren't swollen. You know what I'm saying? They they. Don't know why my feet are swollen until they did all those x-rays and checked for blood clots. You don't have blood clots. You don't have this. You don't have that. We did the ultrasound on this. We did the ultrasound on that. We doing the blood work on this, blood work on that. They even took two cultures out my, let me see, two cultures. Yeah, two cultures. One out of each arm today. Um, man, I done been, I go to neuropathy today to check on that. You know what I'm saying? All the medicine they've been giving me, I haven't taken all the medicine they've given me since I did chemo. That Thursday, Thursday about two weeks ago. I haven't been taking none of that shit. Because I wasn't eating. So since I'm not eating, I'm not taking medicine. I wasn't taking a gabapentin to take the pain away. I ain't even had no pain. Still don't have no pain except for my feet swelling up and can't put pressure on them. I haven't been taking the, the other stuff. The, the I don't know, it's like three or four medicines they gave me. I haven't been taking none of that. And I ain't been in pain. I ain't been in no issues. I ain't had nothing. But the no eating, the no drinking, that's the problem. My mom called me yesterday. She got on my case. She got on my case. She told me, long story, y'all know how my OG is. Drink that motherfucking water. Don't make me come up there. Do I need to come up there? No, Ma, you don't need to come up there. I'm going to drink this water. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to get it done. Even though they're giving me the hydration and everything, I still need to drink water. It's still a struggle. 
You know what I'm saying? Everything is so nasty, but I'm going to do what I got to do. So, you say, you know, you're the only one I got left. Y'all know my sister been gone, so I'm all that's left for her. So, can't let my dudes down. So, I'm on it. My pops, can't let pops down. Pops, pops might go through the roof, so I got it. Mom, dad, I got it. I'm on it. So that's it. That's all. I'm working on it, y'all. But I ain't coming home this weekend. Anybody want to take that drive up here? Come holler at me, though. You're more than welcome. It's nice up here. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to holler, man. It's the longest YouTube I did. All right, peace.